Hello again, YouTube. This is BD Bomb, and welcome to Surgeon Simulator. So I actually bought this game a really, really long time ago, but I forgot. I have not played this version yet. I played the original alpha like a really long time ago, but that's it. Uh, so I'm really excited. Alrighty, so. Let's see if I remember, uh, hold left, left click is to go down. I didn't look at the controls. <laughs> hold right click does this. I'm gonna operate on you, you, you. I'll get the hang of it eventually. Let's see what we're working with here. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, come on. I know the game says you're Bob, but I'm gonna name you someone, some something different. You will be Richard. That will be your name. First things first, we gotta get rid of these pesky ribs. We have a variety of ultra professional tools, such as this power drill from the 1800s, this hammer. I really should take off my watch and, and put on some gloves, but uh, ah, of course, the bus saw and, and get the can of soda out, but you know, yeah, doesn't matter. All right, get out of there, cup. Grab it. Heck yeah, we are doing good. See, the trick is to just take your time. Drill. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Steven, Richard. Sorry, Richard. Got it. God dang it. Richard, I'm so sorry. Get out of there. Get out. Freaking. Get out of there. Ah, there you go. I do know that what these needles do, though. I am a skilled professional surgeon. I've worked on over 500 patients. In my time, I have over 300 confirmed kills in Guerrilla Warfare. Okay, saw this. Ah, very good. Just uh, calm down. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, that's okay. We're not going to be using that anymore anyways. That's your rib cage, Richard. Oh, the ribs don't work like how they did in the beta. <laughs> I don't know. I dissected a pig. Uh, so I know anatomy. Don't question me. Can I twist it around? Twist the hammer around so I could like freaking grab it regularly like a normal human being. Tap. Tap, tap it, t tap, god dang, tap it. I'm tapping as best as I can, nurse. Ah, oh, there we go. See, it's the uh, the gentleman's tap. Mm, yes, 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 quiet. It's a good, it's good spicy meatball. Oh god, oh god, what the, what the, ah, uh, oh, oh, the hammer's out of control. All right, Richard, I'm gonna apply this needle to you. Is it the green or the blue one? Yeah, oh god, oh no, oh, oh no. <laughs> the needles are gone. We're just gonna have to work quickly then. All right, Richard, hang in. Hang in there. This is your lung. I don't think you need this one, right? You could just use one. I mean, I'm sure we could operate without having to take the- Okay, nope, the other one's going too. Oh, there's this thing. Let's grab that. The oh, nope, okay, that's that's gone forever. Bye-bye. There we go. Okay, this doesn't look like it's the best scalpel we have, but it definitely should work. Oh, now he's bleeding. This oh, no, my watch is in your freaking stomach. I'm so sorry about all this, Richard. You'll be okay. Just stay with me. Where are the other doctors? Why am I the only one here? I failed medical school. Why are they letting me do this? You only have 400 milliliters of blood. That is not enough to survive. No, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. It's not worth it anymore. Let's drop it. <laughs> Sleep. My sweet prince, no tears, only dreams, only dreams. What did I say? Ah! And he's gone. It's my 501st death. Brutal murder. Come on, you don't have to talk me down like that. I tried. Okay, let's, let's try that again. This time we're gonna be swift. We're gonna keep these nodules right here where we need them. And we're gonna do this like a pro. Uh, let's let's use this drill, huh? Oh, there goes my my wrist, and the drill is is breaking. Freaking! Oh god! Oh jeez! Look at how fast he's losing blood. This isn't good, Richard. Just calm down. I can't afford to have you lose blood that easily. All right, this doesn't seem to be working that good. I feel like we're using the drill as more of a hammer than a drill. Oh my god! Look at how quickly he's losing blood. All right, I gotta I gotta apply the green needle before he dies. Okay, Richard, this might hurt a little bit. Stop bleeding. Stop there. There we go. Awesome. Needle bitch slap works every time. So I'm gonna place the green needle right here where it's easy to grab. Let's use this bone saw, because I mean it is called a bone saw, I'm assuming for a reason, right? Okay, Richard, just calm down. I know you're asleep right now and everything. You can't see what I'm doing, and it's probably for the best because <laughs> I am dragging this through your chest cavity like I'm scooping up an ice cream cone. Luckily for me, I actually got most of the organs out with this saw. These ribs are so hard to get rib of. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. That was a horrible joke. Oh, oh no, his blood. I didn't even notice. Oh no, we gotta save him. We can do it. We can, we can, oh no. It's okay. Just, God, I'm grabbing the box. Stab it. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, 95 milliliters. I need the blue one. Where is the blue? Stab myself with it. Just stab, stab. Oh, it's gone forever. Okay, Richard. I bet you never had a drugged up doctor work on you before because <laughs> you're supposed to be the one who's drugged up. Okay, so sign here. Yep, yep, there's my signature saying that this surgery was verified by me. All right, grab the drill. There, oh, oh yeah, this, this'll do. Slice the ribs off like this. Oh God, oh God. Oh, nope. I guess it was inevitable. Oh, it's so sad. But this is a cautionary tale. The moral of the story is to not let drug addicts perform surgeries on you. Oh.